Hi there, so in this particular video I am going to show you just how to get started, the really basic things to get you going with AutoCAD uh, 2018. So uh, this is our kind of welcome page when you open up the application for the first time you see this kind of landing page which is called the start tab, you can see it says start up here and on this one you get a chance to open a new drawing or to open uh, something you may have been working on uh, already. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get started if you're beginning uh, completely with a blank canvas. So I'm going to come in here and start my drawing using a template. So I'm clicking on start drawing and it's using uh, the standard AutoCAD template at the moment. I've got some other videos on templates so I'm not going to go into that at the moment. Um, but if you did have your own particular template another way of starting a new drawing would be to come up here to the new drawing icon. And that will allow you to actually choose a template from either the predetermined ones that come pre-installed with AutoCAD, or if you've made your own one, you can choose your own one from a list. So right now, I'm just going to go with the UKIE drawing template. And OK. Now that has started a new, another new drawing for me. which should appear up here in a second. It's just loading down here. And you should see uh, drawing three appearing in here as a tab. There it is now. OK, so if you've got multiple drawings open, they'll appear as tabs up here. And the current one is the one that's kind of got the brightest lettering. These two are kind of grayed out, if you like. Now these two, um, this one drawing one is something that appears as soon as you au launch AutoCAD. It'll have a drawing one tab in there. Uh, I don't need that one. And drawing two is the one I created a few moments ago when I clicked onto the start drawing button, that big start drawing button. So I don't need that one either. I'm going to get rid of that one. So here I have uh, what's called drawing three now. And if I go to my home tab, I get to see the main um, menu icons that uh, AutoCAD thinks uh, are going to be used most of the time. Um, there are lots more tabs across here which allow you to go deeper into the settings. But the home tab is where most of the work will be done. Now I find one of the best things you can do is to save the drawing before you do any work in it. I rec highly recommend you do this because if you don't, AutoCAD might auto save the drawing. Uh, and I'll show you that if I go up to the main menu up here and come down to my options, I should have an option here to uh, change the auto save um, timer. So you can see here now under, um, under the open and save, uh, I've got um, 10 minutes between saves. So AutoCAD will automatically save my work every 10 minutes. And that's fine. That's uh, that's useful, certainly useful. Um, maybe more useful would be every 30 minutes. I don't want it saving too much, so I'm going to change it to 30 and go OK. But the problem I have with the autosave is it's going to use whatever name is up here. Uh, currently it's drawing 3. Uh, if I start another drawing, it's going to be drawing four. But if I come back in again tomorrow and start something else, I may end up with another drawing called drawing three or drawing four. Uh, so auto saving will not rename the drawing for you. And the, the risk there is that you'll end up with several drawings all called drawing one or all called drawing two or whatever it may be. So really the best thing to do when you're starting off is to save the drawing in a proper location with a proper name before you do any work in it. So to do that, you come up to the main menu, which is this button with the big red A beside it here, and you come down to Save As. And I'm hovering over that Save As. I'm not clicking anything yet. And I'm moving out here with my mouse, and I'm going to hover over the option for Drawing. I haven't clicked on anything yet, but now I'm going to click because it's a drawing I want to save. And it gives me a couple of options. Uh, main thing is, where do you want to put the drawing, which is from this drop-down menu here, and what do you want to call the drawing, which is this little option in here. Now, I find when I'm working on drawings, the best place to keep them is locally on the C drive on the computer that I'm working on. So I'm going to put that onto the C drive. In fact, I'm actually going to put it onto the desktop, which means it's going to be really easy to find later on. And I'm just going to call this one here uh, First Drawing. OK, First Drawing. And I've put a little capital R in there, but I can fix that. OK. So I'm saving my drawing, it's going to be called First Drawing, and I'm saving it on the desktop. When I do that, you'll notice that the name up here changes to First Drawing. It'll also say First Drawing up here. 
And this is the next tip. While you're actively working on the drawing, keep it on the C drive or your desktop. If you save your drawing to a USB memory stick and the computer is trying to read and write constantly to the USB memory stick as you're working on the drawing, that could cause you problems. By all means, save your work onto a memory stick when you're finished, either finished it completely or just finished it for that session, but while you're working on it, keep it on a desktop. So to save this onto a memory stick, then I would come up to my main menu, I'd hover over Save As, and then uh, when the pop-out menu comes over, I'd move my mouse up to Drawing, and I'd click, left click, and i do the very same thing again, but this time I choose one of my memory sticks, and that will keep a backup of it for me. Okay, so that's the tip. While you're working on a drawing, keep it on the desktop or the U drive. When you're finished and you want to kind of uh, pause for uh, the end of the session or when you've got the drawing completely done, save it onto a memory stick and back it up.